Hello fun people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about mulch. And in particular, when it's actually time to apply the mulch to the soil and some of the science journals I dug up on the idea. So the question would be, is there a time to mulch that is considered too early? And we're going to discover through this video that the answer is yes. So the premise here is that mulch can act as an insulator. And in particular, it can act as an insulator on both ends, meaning it can insulate cold, but it can also insulate warm, meaning there's kind of this sweet spot in between when it's actually time to apply the mulch. So when looking at different colors of mulch, we the study looked at black, clear, non-covered, and then a mix of the two. So that was for the one that looked at insulating factors. And these are the mulches that look kind of like fabric, uh, planting fabric almost, but it's not quite that. That form of mulch is the one that was discussed in this article. And what they found is that clear tended to be the most insulating for heat, so it caused the most heat. Now it could be the amplification of heat, polarization of the actual soil, or it could have been the actual um, heat and time that they placed mulch on the soil, which was beginning of July, which is a little bit late in my opinion. One thing that they did note was that the clear soil or the uncovered soil was notably warmer and had wilder fluctuations. So it was able to cool off much faster and warm up much faster. So the changes in degrees was much greater day to day and as the season actually progressed. Conversely, if we looked at straws or woods or anything of that nature, we had an insulating factor that was even greater. Meaning if we put organic materials such as um, lawn clippings or straw or uh, wood mulch, we had a more insulate uh, more insulation, meaning the cold stayed in the soil for longer or the heat stayed in the soil longer depending on when it was applied. So if you're looking to extend your season in the fall, you'd want to wait or you would want to reapply mulch sometime in late July, early August. Whereas if you're looking to get into the garden sooner, you would want to hold off on actual application of mulch until about mid-June. Now, that being said, if you were to do a season extender on the spring side, you actually would not mulch at all until, again, that mid-June time frame. One of the other studies that I looked at was the difference between plastic mulches and then organic straw mulches and the effect it had on something called LAI. So this is defined as leaf area index and back in the day before machines existed this would be calculated manually and it's a ton of work however now that machinery is in place we can actually use technology to determine the leaf area index of an area depending on the type of mulch used so the device they use is called a green seeker and just a heads up for anyone who's used one of these because i have many a times it is not fun to use. <laughs> so they have them as like little handhelds now, but the last time I used one slash, I guess the budget of the companies I worked for is much lower, or maybe it's just the, the land mass I was doing was greater, so I needed the big guy. But it's like a big boom, it's super heavy. Sometimes people lost the harnesses for them, which is very irritating, or the harnesses are attached and you kind of have to balance it. You have to have it completely parallel to the ground in order for it to calculate and capture LAI accordingly. So you're probably wondering, well, why is LAI actually important? And the answer to that is because it can change how things are photosynthesized as well as just the upper biomass in general. This can affect the roots, the shoots, and even the yield. So a higher LAI means higher rates of photosynthesis and ultimately a healthier plant. So that is what we're aiming for when we're comparing the plastic to the straw. But which one of the mulches actually made for a higher level of LAI and which one should you be using as a gardener? So the truth is, is that if you apply a mulch that is made from straw like they did in this study too soon in the season, it can cause a cooling effect on the soil. So these decreases in temperature combined with higher rates of moisture resulted in lower levels of LAI. This is because of how soon it was applied. 
But when we compare that to a plastic mulch, in particular, again, kind of like that um, black sheeting type stuff, the results were drastically different. Mm -hmm. The black plastic and the clear plastic mulches both yielded higher soil temperatures. And in this study, they used specifically corn. And because of that, it resulted in really high LAI. And that ultimately won out the entire study as the option to go with if we were choosing different types of mulch that would be applied earlier in the season to prevent against weeds. So now the question becomes, what is the better choice for you as a gardener? And so you would probably lean towards plastic in an ideal situation. However, if the budget cannot afford it, all I would do is simply use the organic mulches like I do in my own garden and hold off until later in the season. The black plastics and the clear plastics can be applied right away without any repercussions on the part of the grower. However, for those of us using insulating and organic compounds, we do want to wait until mid-June. So the answer to the entire question is yes, there's a right and a wrong time to apply mulches depending on what mulch you're using. If you are using wood, straw, or compost, whatever the case is, anything insulating and organic, you want to wait until mid-June, until that soil temperature has increased. However, if you are using black plastic, clear plastic, you can actually apply these whenever because technically speaking, as the season goes on, the soil tends to warm up just fine. That doesn't ultimately affect either the biomass above ground or below ground. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what you learned in this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!